Good evening to all my subscribers. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this useful. Due to the bad weather in Sydney, I brought my six meter diameter loop inside for modifications. And I will show you the results of what I have done and the difference it has made. But just so you have an idea of the setup, this is a six meter diameter 19 mil copper pipe in a loop, sort of circle, not quite. Uh, today I added a larger pickup coil, a 60 centimeter pickup coil with a rather thin 50 ohm coax, not really the fat stuff. But as you can see it's much larger pickup loop than previously. And uh, the second thing I did was uh, I added a capacitor, additional capacitance here as you will see you can see there is a additional switch down the bottom that switch switches in an additional 100 picofarads um, and it's very important and I will show you why the rest of the setup is pretty standard coax cable comes along the flow goes into my RSP2 Pro and into the laptop and on the screen what I want to show you today is the purpose of resonance and how to get these to actually resonate. I've now set uh, SDR Uno to the 3.5 or 80 meter band. The capacitor, main capacitor is not tuned and the smaller capacitor is not in the circuit either. So the first thing I will do is tune the main capacitor so you can see the peak as it comes into view from the right. As I tune it some more, you can see it peaks and then it stops. It stops around 3.6 megahertz and I cannot get it to move to the left anymore. This is not good because I want the whole band to be covered. So by adding a 100 picofarad capacitor, what that did was allow me to tune all the way down to about 3 megahertz. Now watch the peak disappear as I bring the capacitor in. You will see, zoom, it goes away. Now I can tune the capacitor and you will see the peak come in from the left of the 3 mega 3.5 band. You can see it. there's the peak coming in and then it goes to the middle, goes to the right, and with the capacitor in, I can tune the full 3.5 meg or 80 meter band. Yeah. You can see as I turn the capacitor, with the 100 pico capacitor in, it gives me the full band. Without it, it does not. And the other interesting point is that the signals are so strong at the moment that uh, I've had to actually drop the gain all the way down. If not, it's just uh, overloading a bit. Unfortunately, there's a lot of noise in here at the moment, so I can't do much in terms of signal, uh, and I can't go outside due to the weather. The second thing I'll show you is if I go to the 40 meter, 40 meter band, you'll see there's absolutely nothing happening because it's out of tune. And to effectively work this band, I need to take out of the circuit the 100 picofarad capacitor, which I just did. That then allows me to tune this capacitor and watch the 40 meter band peak. As I tune the capacitor, very, very strong. The gain, RF gain is very low, it's virtually 20%. So now with the capacitor, with the 100 pico farad capacitor out of the circuit I can tune the 70, um, 7 megahertz or 40 meter band very clearly and it really does boost the signal phenomenally uh, and I can also go to the 80 meter band switch the capacitor in and tune it till it peaks as you can see there it's starting to come into the right and uh, it'll go right across the full bend. Uh, 
there's not too many people transmitting at the moment and it's also bad weather so I didn't turn the volume up but uh, I tell you if this was outside or the weather was better this signal would be booming absolutely booming so keep that in mind if you make a six meter copper loop with a 60 centimeter pickup you will need a big capacitor and you will also need an additional 100 picofarad capacitor for the 3.5 megahertz band i think the total is around 500 uh, picofarad to be able to tune uh, the 80 meter band and make sure you take it out for the 40 meter band because those are the two areas i play it that's about it for now and uh, hopefully i'll get to take it out when the weather's better and show you some signals coming in